High tide in Aberystwyth last night, and at times the promenade became part of the sea. Hundreds of people were advised to leave their homes. Some shopkeepers packed their things and left. For others, there was a last-minute scramble to protect their property. Obviously, everybody's wanting sandbags, so our little charity shop, I could be deluged by tomorrow. The damage from yesterday's bout of stormy weather might not have been as bad as expected, but there is still a threat from the strong winds and high tides. And the warnings about staying away from coastal paths haven't changed. This family had a lucky escape at Mullion Cove in Cornwall. The areas most at risk today are Dorset and here on the River Severn in Gloucestershire. With the risk of flooding far from over, news of job cuts at the Environment Agency has provoked criticism. Some say it couldn't have come at a worse time, though ministers insist frontline work won't be affected. This government is spending more than any previous government on flood defences, and that will mean that 165,000 properties will be protected by 2015. In some places, today will be a chance to try and clean up. But another wave of stormy weather is on its way. Ben Gagan, BBC News.